and bring into the arena now just a host of folks that you're going to see a part of the rodeo tonight, working in the rodeo, uh, bringing you the royalty of the rodeo, some of the competitors. You know, we see all these beautiful American flags out here, and I tell you what, it is one of those things where it just makes you stop and think how fortunate we are, how lucky we are to live in the great United States of America. Through all of the problems we've had, and ups and downs over the years, we can still come here tonight and be a free people. We think about those soldiers tonight. Somewhere tonight there is a soldier on watch. We think about the sons and the daughters and the mothers and the fathers of our United States military. And I think we should give them a round of applause right now because they allow us to be free. Thank you. Well, we've got a lot of people in the arena tonight, including uh, ladies that you're going to meet a little bit later on, our royalty. We have Miss Brown County Fair and Association, uh, Ashley Garrett with us tonight. We also have Miss West Texas Fair, Callie Harvey with us this evening. You're going to get to meet Miss Rodeo Texas. Yeah, the one and only Lauren Graham from College Station, Texas. As a matter of fact, she's going down the west fence right now, waving real big. And we will uh, give you a little better introduction of Lauren here in just a little bit. We continue to see the contestants right on in. Get a lot of horses in this arena. Beautiful horses, great horses, great riders tonight. You have 388 entries in your Brown County Rodeo this year. Very impressive. And one of the reasons why we have that many entries is the fact we pay out quite a bit of money here at the Brown County Rodeo. We're talking $45,800 of money that's going to be awarded here tonight at the end of this three-night run, I should say, on Saturday night. So quite a bit of money for all those have entered. I mentioned the rain. We got some great rain. We are thankful for that, no doubt. If you were here with us last year, we were suffering through 100-plus temperatures on our first night. And some really dry weather, but it's great this year. The Brown County Rodeo is sanctioned by the United Professional Rodeo Association, also sanctioned by the Texas Cowboys Rodeo Association. These are big associations with a lot of members. We allow our cowboys and cowgirls from all over the Lone Star State and out of state to come to rodeos just like this one and compete. Now we have about eight other rodeos going on tonight, Friday night and Saturday night, all across the Lone Star State. So what a lot of our contestants will do is compete here tonight in Brownwood, and they'll be off to another one. Many right on down the road, maybe to Burn It or somewhere like that, or Mount Pleasant over in East Texas. Those just to name a couple. But on Friday night and Saturday night, we'll have a brand new crew here with us. We have some great contestants coming up tonight, including some national finals rodeo contestants and a world champion to do coming out tonight. You know, when you paid your entry fee to get into the rodeo tonight, when you go to the concession stand, when you buy a t-shirt, you can be rest assured that your money's going to go to a good cause. And that cause is the Brown County Youth Fair Association. You know, every January, we have a big, big youth fair here in Brownwood. It involves all of Brown County. And just so that our kids will have an opportunity to, you know, pick up a little prize money with their stock show uh, you know, event, well, they get uh, the money from this particular road. That's where a lot of the funds come from. So, that's a good deal. Everybody's a winner. You're a winner because you're here tonight. You get to see a great rodeo. And, of course, the youth are a winner because that money goes directly to them. Well, as we continue to fill up our arena with our colorful grand entry, and our cowboys and our carol girls, it's good to see we've got some of the young cowboys and cowgirls riding alongside, maybe mom or dad, it's always good to see. People love horses in this part of the world, as you well know. Well, we're glad that this particular event is being broadcast live on the radio right now, tonight, and Friday night, and Saturday night. It's on KOXE 101.3 FM. Leland with us tonight. Glad to have you aboard. It's going to be a great time. So if you can't be here at the rodeo, click on the radio, 101.3, and listen to it live. I want to thank the great guys at the Brownwood Fire Department. Brownwood Fire Department doing a bang-up job. 
They parked your car tonight when you got here. We thank them. Also, thanks to Guardian EMS. We hope we don't need their services, but they're here just in case we do to take care of our cowboys and cowgirls, make sure they're safe. Also, we've got a lot of livestock back here from the Terry Walls Rodeo Company. The rocks and the bulls that you're going to see, the calves, the steers. A lot of money is invested in those, and just like we have for our cowboys and cowgirls, we have a doctor in the house for our animal athletes as well, Fritz Speck. Dr. Fritz Speck is on call here with us just in case he is needed. We have some great sponsors, and we want to call special attention to them. As we go through the rodeo performances tonight, you're going to be hearing about them. We'll have sponsors for each and every one of our events. Look up and down the arena. You see these signs here. We appreciate all of those folks coming on board. They are making possible this extra added prize money that we put in the pot for all of these contestants, that $45,000 I was talking about. And that money comes from all these great sponsors. You get more money added to the pot, you get more contestants. That's why we're 388 strong over three nights and not number one here tonight. We would like to thank Citizens National Bank, KOXC, KBWD, Landmark Life Insurance, Midtex Federal Credit Union, Mills County Commission Company, Robertson Petty, Texas Bank, and Walbrook Construction. Now just name eight of them. You'll find their names on the bucking chutes right here down below. Matter of fact, we're getting our bear bank and our saddle broad horses all ready to go tonight. A lot of contestants, we can't get each and every one of them in the events and the nightly performances, so we're going to have slack competition. You're welcome to stay for that after the bull riding tonight. We'll have a lot of timed events. And that's uh, part of the rodeo competition, so stick around. And we'll do it again on Friday night. Well, I think you get the idea. We've got a lot of great cowboys and cowgirls that you're going to see in competition tonight in our events. Started out with a bareback and then the saddle brought. We go to tie-down roping, ladies' breakaway roping. We're going to get the kids involved with a calf scramble. We have the Coleman County Cowgirls that you'll see in action a little bit later on. We have steer wrestling. We have team roping. We have the ladies' barrel racing. And we have bull riding. Plenty of events. And some guy that's going to make you laugh. I mean, he is from Arizona. His name is Slim Garner. Slim's going to do some things tonight that we hope are legal. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to have fun with Slim. He'll be out here just a little bit later on tonight. Well, as our grand entry begins to make its way on out of the arena, we tip our hats to all the cowboys and cowgirls, many of whom are going to be com competing a little bit later on tonight, and many are just glad to be here in a part of the 49th Brown County Rodeo. We have great sponsors, as I mentioned. The barrel racing is brought to you by Big Country Ford, Bruner Auto Group, Stanley Dodge. As a matter of fact, they are our title sponsor for tonight for the 49th Annual Rodeo, so we appreciate them very much. Check out those beautiful vehicles, those trucks that they have parked out there by the West Gate. 